Hey guys, I uh, ran Studio One version one. I just wanted to uh, take a look back, take a walk down memory lane as it were. So I launched Studio One version one and I um, loaded a MIDI file, loaded some virtual instruments. Um, the interesting thing about Studio One version one, the things that surprised me, first of all, was that all of my plugins loaded. I actually was surprised by that. All of my uh, third-party plugins and instruments, everything loaded with no errors, which is surprising because a lot of those things didn't did not even exist when Studio One One was out in 2009 or whatever. Uh, the second thing that surprised me was the color palette. The color palette in Studio One One, in my opinion, and of course this is subjective. Is actually better than the color palette in version 5. Mostly because the colors are arranged in logical order. As you can see, we have shades of blues, shades, shades of green, shades, shades of yellows, shades of orange, red, violet. Things are arranged in a much more logical order. In Studio One 5 and 4 and 5, they're just scattered all over the place. And um, actually, that was the main reason I invented the color toolbar because there was no logical order to the color palette. So looking back at version one, the color palette is actually better than version five in my opinion. But again, that's subjective. But everything loaded and played fine. I uh, don't have any issues. And the obvious things with the UI, you have no uh, fader here in the inspector. And the buttons here on the tracks are really tiny. So that's, uh, that's something I would not want to uh, revisit. And the mixer is obviously a lot more advanced now. But uh, as far as everything else, the color palette, uh, to me, is just, it's just amazing that it's so much better in version 1. I kind of wish they would just go back to something like this where the colors are arranged. And if I'm not mistaken, this is 11 groups of 8 for 88 colors, not counting this clear thing here. But uh, I kind of wish they would go back to something like this, something more arranged. Anyway, that's uh, Studio One version 1 and uh, Windows 11, actually, running Windows 11, which didn't exist, obviously, when Studio One version 1 was out and a bunch of different plugins like uh, Contact 6, uh, Spitfire, uh, different things, and everything's running fine. And even all of my uh, third-party effects loaded, SSL, Sound Toys, my uh, personal synth edit plugins, um, everything, my Waves plugins, literally everything loaded, which was quite surprising. That's Studio One version one. Thank <laughs> you. 